Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to animate your text in Adobe After Effects. I'm going to show you five different ways that all give you a different look. You can probably incorporate more than one of these effects together to make it pop a little bit more. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and want more After Effects tutorials, make sure to like this video. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here I got my text and I'm going to basically just use this for all the animations. The first animation effect I'm going to show you is the easiest. You can just drag an effect onto the text. The effect I'm going to show you is just called typewriter. So it's under animate in. So if you just drag it onto your text, it'll just sort of go one by one, letter by letter. So to speed it up or slow it down, you just want to go to text, animator, and then the range selector. And right now the endpoint is around like two seconds. So to make it faster, you just move it a little bit closer to the beginning. And to make it sort of erase and go backwards, you just want to set the start point to zero again. So yeah, that's the first effect. The second effect I'm going to show you is quite popular. It's a wiggle effect and basically it's just a very subtle way of having animated text. I think it's really good if you're doing anything abstract, maybe like a travel video or a cool intro animation. I think it's really cool to have a little bit of motion that's very subtle. So to do this, you want to click on the arrow right here, go to animate and click on rotation. So rotation is right here. And then you're going to see animator one. You want to go to add selector wiggly. And now you just want to adjust the rotations. So let's just say 10 and now it will move. And yeah, that's about it for this effect. You can obviously increase it if you want and it'll rotate a little bit more like each letter and it sort of randomizes it uh, for each letter. If it was all the same, then they would all move in the same direction, but they're not. So that's it for the second effect. So I'm actually going to incorporate the third effect with the second effect. The third effect is a shiny text effect. So basically like a light streak goes through the text and it looks like it's shining. I like to use this when I do animated cover art. It just adds another look to it and it looks really clean in my opinion. So you want to search up light sweep, CC light sweep, and you just want to drag it on the text. It's a little bit easier to see if the text is a different color. So I'm just going to change the color to like blue or something. So let's just say it's blue like this. You can see there's a light right here. The first thing you want to do is turn down the thickness and you also want to turn down the intensity. The reason you want to do this is because it's going to have like a harsh edge to it. You want it to sort of be a little bit subtle. So you don't want there to be an edge thickness because if you increase it, you can see the edge is very apparent. So I'm going to turn down the two right here. Usually I will increase the width a little bit. You can also change the light color, but typically I keep it white. And all you have to do now is just set keyframes for the center point. So right now the center is in the middle, um, but you want to start on the like right or left side. So let's just start it outside the frame. You want to go to the effects, light sweep. So right now where it starts, you want to set a keyframe. And where it ends, let's just say two seconds. You just want to click on this again and and move across the text so it sweeps so you can see what that does it's better if it's just like one word i'm going to make this a little bit faster and basically if you want it to loop you would want to right click on this press toggle hold keyframe and then you just want to copy this and paste it so you can press Control c and then control V and I'll paste. And then I'll start again at this keyframe. The fourth effect is a glitch effect. It's probably the most difficult one out of this because um, there's multiple steps. Uh, but basically you want to right click and you want to press solid. So let's just make this black. We're going to be using fractal noise for this. So let's go to effect. Fractal noise. You want to drag it on the black solid. You're going to see this. You're going to get really confused. Um, you're going to go to noise type, select block. You're going to increase the contrast like a bunch. You're going to go to transform, uncheck uniform scaling. 
and just increase the width all the way and decrease the height all the way. So now it's like a very thin strip of black. And basically we're gonna animate this. So where it says evolution, we wanna hold alt and click on the stopwatch. And then the expression will show up. You wanna delete what's already there. And you want to type in time asterisk 500. You can increase it if you want it to be faster. But basically what that will do is it'll make it cycle through. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-compose this and we're gonna hide it. So we still have the text. And now we're gonna search up displacement map. We're gonna apply it to the text layer. Right now it's selected at always creating. We wanna select the black solid we just created that's hidden. And then you can change the source to effects and mask. And now you can see there's a glitch effect. It looks a little bit weird when it has the wobbly effect as well, like the wiggling effect. So now you can see there's a glitch effect. Very, very simple. While editing this video, I realized I forgot to mention something. If you increase the horizontal displacement or uh, vertical displacement right here, it actually adds to the effect. The only problem is it gets harder to read. Uh, but what I recommend you doing is set keyframes for the vertical and horizontal displacement. So maybe start at something extreme like 37 and go back to zero so that there's a little like looping animation. The last effect is called the write on effect and it makes it look like you're actually handwriting the text as it sort of transitions in. So it's really, really simple. You want to select your text. You want to select on the pen tool right here and you just want to create a path within the text in the same sort of motion that you would actually write the text. So right here, you can see I'm done. You want to search up the effect stroke and you want to place it on here. You want to go to paint style under effects and control and select reveal original image. And now basically everything disappears. Now you want to go to the effects right here, go to stroke. And now you want to set keyframes. Before you do that, you want to make sure you can actually see the text. So right now it's sort of hidden. So if you increase the brush size, it shows so just increase it until it shows or you can also increase the brush hardness you want to set end at zero so right now it's disappeared and basically set a keyframe for zero at start and then whenever you want the animation to end you would want to increase the start to 100 and basically what that does it's creating this handwritten effect obviously it looks better if you do it right you can see sometimes it overlaps. So I'm going to zoom in to show you guys. So like right here at the beginning, you can see the L's already showing. And the reason why is because of this point. So you can sort of just adjust as you go. So everything's good so far. You can see right here, the top is showing before um, the, the rest of it is. That's probably because one of these um, points right here, I think because of this one actually. So now we fixed it. Now this isn't showing, so you just want to move this up a little bit. So it's very tedious. If you wanted to make it perfect, well, what you would do is have each letter on a different layer and do this separately. But obviously that takes a little bit too long. But if you take your time, it'll look pretty good. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial. I've used these effects in animated cover art and intros I've made and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys can integrate that into your work. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. With that being said, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.